Second week in a row when I'm back in the house Back, back, back in the house What is happening? Wow, can't believe it's so weird Feels like I never left the studio But it's been a week, a whole week Yes, what's going on everyone? What's happening? Jason Yeser in the Spit It Out Studios coming at ya this week Feeling good, feeling great, feels great to be back once again here, and I'm, of course, with the one and only, because if you're watching, you can see right now, JJ! I am back, baby! I am back! I'm back. He is back in the house, feels like we never left. JJ back, I'm my wine to my side, you know, and just doing it right. Another week, another glass of wine. Yes, and if you guys want to go ahead and watch, what would you count that? One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, announcement. If you guys want to go ahead and watch us, youtube.com slash Jason Yes Sir for the first 20 minutes of every episode. Now back at you, JJ. Now I'm saying, I know that's a glass, but what would you count? That's more like almost like a milk bottle. A milk jug. This is what they would send you and deliver. I might have spoken about it. I feel like it would be speaking about things more than once on the podcast but who gives a fuck okay this is what they might deliver back in the day when the milkman would come with his little six pack i feel like he would probably walk around with a six pack right like in a metal cage and he would have one of these milk jugs in with a cap um but yeah this is probably an eight ounce or so it doesn't hold much maybe nine that's like um the starbucks like how they have like those cappuccinos or frappuccinos or whatever right but I, I liked it. I got it. I got it at one of those um, eclectic shops. No, I got it at like uh, Home Goods, Michaels, or something like that. I mean, Home Goods are like Marshalls. Um, yeah. But it says dairy on it. If you guys are watching, and then there's a cow. This one I use. There's like I have six of them, and they came with straws, plastic straws. Um, I know you guys are crazy about plastic <laughs> straws, but um, it came with straws that were like spiral, black and white. I don't have those no more because they got all nasty and dirty, and I had to throw them out. <laughs> but um, they got on a the little front. Nasty. A little nasty. On the front, though, has a cow. And on this one, I used so much so it was coming off, but it was painted, too, with the black and white spots mm-hmm. on the cow and such. The cow, the ow. <laughs> <laughs> the cow went ow. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I enjoy drinking out of this. I don't, instead of wine glass, I always put my wine in here for some reason. And does the job. You know what I'm saying? So not that I'm gonna be a wine drinker, but if I still find that green apple one, I'm gonna get it every time. That shit is big. I know you. I seen you posted something else that you you first tried it here at my house. It's some green apple fruit scotto or something like that. Um, very light and crisp. Uh, but I see, yeah, you had it again, and you're not the wine drinker. But that one, like I said, remember? And then when I had it for dinner, I drank like half of that bottle. With like my meal, just something no, light, like fresh, good. refreshing. Yeah, it was good. Um, I had Probably like, freezing it too would be good. Freeze it up, blend it in with some ice, blend it in some ice, make it into like a fro, frozer, um, frozer, uh, frozen, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like yeah. a cocktail type of thing. Or Actually, when I went over to our sister's house, Marilyn, she had did that for us with some rosé. That's so like a frosé. Oh, yeah. Some blended it up and that made one of them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. But it was a little hard to um, get it through the straw to come up through the uh, straw. Yeah, because chunky. But oh, that sounded gross. Chunky. <laughs> but, um, I get it though. What if, <laughs> slushy? What about if you don't uh, put ice in your cup and you leave it warm? Is it like a apple pie? <laughs> apple pie wine. If I don't put what? If I don't put ice in my cup for that apple wine, is will it be like apple pie because it's nice and warm? Oh, because like, uh, it'll be warm oh, instead. Dang. I don't know. Not everyone even likes ice, and a lot of people would say um, they don't want ice in their wine, or they'll do ice in a white wine. Yeah, like they're not gonna throw ice in a red wine. Red but wine. I, I love some ice in it. I like it chilled, nice and chilled and cool. Mm-hmm. But some people still like it chilled, just no ice. They want it, you know. They have the yeah. cellars, the wine cellars, like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very true. Very true. But um, you're. Go to drink typically would be besides wine would be more of a. Well, before I would just drink Ciroc, so like vodka and stuff like that. But yeah, I haven't before. even really done that ever since. I, what do you say? I was just like, oh, before it just oh. sounded so depressing. <laughs> well, I'm taking now with the whole life. Not, I wouldn't even say, well, yeah, like a whole lifestyle change. Just like you know, cleanly drinking water and then like eating. You know, I wasn't taking all that yeah. sugar and everything. But yeah, it was always Ciroc. Um, now I've been drinking those like 
and I'm never big on like seltzer because I don't like carbonated drinks. You know, like just we never drink. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I've been drinking those Corona like seltzer. But that was the only time you would have, anyways. Your your soda, if so, here and there, or a mixed drink, if you have not soda, but something well, like a seltzer type or a, a carbonated yeah. substance with the mixed there, drink. So now it's just combined already for you. Yeah, I'm, well, the only time I was doing like soda with a mixed drink was with like Jack Daniel, my Jack Daniel days and all that stuff. But I stopped doing the soda and like a long time ago. Then I was going to juice. But then, yeah, if anything, now mm-hmm. I feel like. I rather just have um, what we call out here on the East Coast a nip. You guys call what little bottles? I've talked about this before. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, last, talk- yeah, oh, okay. I was, was going to say we've like, talked about call, this before. We've catched a couple bottles. episodes. I rather just drink it like straight. Like, Mini bottles, sure. airport bottles. Yeah, shots. I don't know what the fuck they call it out here. Mm-mm. Call it too expensive. I know that shit. You <laughs> see them prices on that shit? I'd be seeing that. I'd be like, yeah. damn, for these little ones. Mm-mm. Back well, home, yeah, ain't ones. especially like the little. Um, you know, because people love Henny, but the little ones like that, they'd be like three or four dollars. I'm like, hey, crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nine, nine, nine. One I'm shot's not worth three dollars. Well, hmm, I guess it's like going to the bar or so, but still, but just find it no, like, yeah. ridiculous. That is true. I see. I don't see that people don't think like that because I didn't think like that either. But it going like towards that. the bar, yeah, of course you don't think yeah, like yeah. that because the bar also too, you're getting a whole different atmosphere. You got the bar, you're paying for the experience too, which you're around the surrounding all that. You yeah. drinking alone home in your closet, that's a whole different story. <laughs> In a closet. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Um, <laughs> um, anyways, though, you brought up a lifestyle and everything we haven't spoke about. Well, you hinted around here and there, I feel like, a couple of episodes ago, maybe last week or so, because we were, talked about a little exercise and you can't because you tell. We'll maybe get into it a little later how you tell is doing this week. But um, <laughs> we talked about that last week and mentioned a little lifestyle and all that. So did you want to speak about it? Did you want to let me know how it's going, all that? Oh, yeah. So basically... um. Since, like, you know, quarantine all started, maybe a month into quarantine, I uh, got challenged by our sister, and it was to, and that's how it all started. She was like, hey, can you not drink for, like, a month? So it was basically for me of this lifestyle. Oh, inside out. scoop. See, I didn't even know this information before. Yeah, it was working One, out and everything. We spitting okay. it out over here this week. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was just um, like that. Like, for me to stop drinking for a month, but she made it seem like, I was a drink, like an alcoholic, and I was like, that's easy. I haven't drank like within yeah. like two months or whatever. But I was like, yeah, I'll, do that. Horses. I'll, cut, I'll cut the sugars and all that stuff. So she just basically like challenged like that. Uh, go a month without drinking. I'm going to give you a workout plan and, um, and an eating plan because our sister is a CrossFit trainer and a nutritionist. So certified. I said, why not? You know, <laughs> certified, sorry. But I was like, you know, why not? Um, what else is there to do during this quarantine? Just what? Sit and eat and watch TV and drink? No, I ain't doing all that. So with me doing it for three months, yeah, I'll say like three months now, I lost. I have met my goal weight. I My goal weight, I just picked a random number. It was at 235, and the lowest I've been is at 230. So I am okay. um, excited. And I feel great. I went down in pants size, probably like a size to two sizes, depending on the material. And then for sure, it's like a size. So I'm looking – Snackish. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, though. Really good to hear. So, would you say though, did the quarantine? Would you say the quarantine help with the lifestyle change? Um, yeah. Do you think you still would have did it without, or would it just been a little harder, or was it like an easier with um, how things were? I I would say not that it it could have been more challenging, just because. Well, no matter what, how people say, oh, I don't have enough time to do this to do that. Well, one, I never want to be that type of person to you know look at every um, ingredient of things or. Being the like, nutritional oh, yeah. facts on the back, turn it around yeah. and see what's happening. So, for example, a bag of chips, if it says oh, you want to count four, what am I doing? I'm having four. Cookies, if it says six, I'm having six. You get, you get, you get, um, you catch the drift. But so you're doing the serving sizes, um, yeah, recommended yeah. serving sizes, what you're following by. So, oh, yeah. So, like I said, I like it. Um, there's times I do double workouts a day. From actual working out, um, okay. I mentioned it last, actual working out and um, playing uh, softball. So then, like that was shedding more weight, and you know, just from sweating. But no, it's fun. Uh, like I said, I think it would have been more challenging without this quarantine because I'd have been working and my whole schedule. I, that was something I was going to say with yeah. the work. That would have been something. That, yeah, because of what I do, I don't have a just set schedule of always oh, just working morning shifts or night shifts. You know, I'm working in the morning. I can work a second shift. I can work third shift depending on uh, what's going on at work. And then 
I even think too of my eating schedule because I, I am on an eating schedule for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if I throw a snack in there, it would have been hard at work too because say if I work at seven o'clock in the morning every day, uh, I eat mostly like right before 10, 9.45. So then after uh, when I have lunch, then if I'm working, you know, I'll cut into it. But I mean, I still could have did an hour of working out, but come on, working, working eight, 10, 12. No, yeah. Like, obviously, now day. going back to work and that you'll have to fix around and work it around your schedule and now adapt but to it, that. It's not hard. You, so. you know, you, people always say, and I mean, even when going going down to see you, and we, we were going to the gym every day. Oh, still, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'd be like, no, no, Jason, not today because then whether if I have a tournament over Oh, the I know it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it is easy. Just an hour a day of working out, it's it's nothing. It goes by. You just got to stay with it. it. Like they say, it takes, what, 21 days or something to to, yeah. to uh, adapt to make a habit. So mm-hmm. once you get into it and keep on doing it, and then if you missed it and you really started feeling it, it's like, damn, like I really got off. Like I said last week, so when I got my wisdom teeth removed and all, um, I wasn't working out. And I felt like, damn, I'm not working out right now. I feel like what I was doing and all that was doing good, building up some muscle. And I'm not saying I'm over here, you know, lifting 250 and all that and going crazy and stuff. But I was feeling like I was building a little. And then just from taking a week off or so, it reminded me to the time that I got sick last year or whatever, the year before, when I got really sick for that whole week. And, like, I felt like I had dropped a little weight and lost, you know, got skinnier more so. And I'm not the big biggest guy, but... Um, and you're not the smallest. <laughs> I just now, uh, now I'm just trying to get back into it and you know continue. Yeah. So I did actually the other day work out with our sister. I did work out her. So I heard um, that, like in the morning, right? You did the morning. In the morning, morning I was like, "Hey, what's up? What are you doing?" And all that. So we went out and um like Google Hangout and we did a little workout sesh, and it was good. I w- I've been working out lately before, even without her, but we hadn't got to the champs because I know I've talked about it before where she was she came from japan and the time difference was off now we're both here in the morning time and all that so we can do it at the same time but just haven't had that chance and she's still been adapting and getting used to things going on here and all that stuff so i hadn't made the time to schedule and do it in the morning Mm -hmm. so we did it this time but before that what i was doing i kept on doing some um dance workouts oh yeah youtube dance workouts and a lot of them were fun. They were good, and they were like thirty minutes, forty minute ones, twenty five minutes. If I would do something, I feel like, oh, that wasn't that wasn't enough for a day. Oh, I'll put another one on and do another one and all that. And it was right, good because right. it was still the normal moves that you would do regularly exercising, but it was also now like, oh, put a little step into it, throw your hip into it, do this, do that, and you know, one, two, one, two, three, like double like that. So like you were making counts and steps, and also it was like making it fun, and it was going with the music. So it was fun, and you weren't realizing how much exercise you actually were doing. You were still sweating like crazy. You yeah, would still oh, yeah. be coming off sweating, but mm-hmm. you didn't realize probably how much um, you were actually doing. So I did a couple of those, um, and yeah, they're, they're fun. I have, and you almost then I like hit, that, did it with her. Uh, what was it, Papa the Rapper? That kick push. <laughs> that is so funny. You said that because I was when I was damn. We think like because I was thinking beforehand. I was um thinking about that and i was like oh choreography reminds me of you know like step and dance yeah, and all yeah. that and i was gonna say oh you're not the type though to learn choreography i was gonna say the only choreography you ever learned was that papa robert kick push <laughs> and whatever yeah it was something like that if you guys don't know that's back in the day that playstation that yeah. old console it wasn't, it wasn't even kick push because you were talking about lupe fiasco right there. <laughs> oh yeah kick <laughs> push and, no but what was it then? yeah kick punch kick punch right yeah kick um, punch yeah kick punch Papa rapper, yep. Mm-hmm. I wonder you how much. Don't know. How much what? Like, I wonder how much. Like, that was a good, like, a classic game. I wonder how much that like goes for right now. Because you know, a lot of these find on eBay two ninety nine used. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and they traded into GameStop for a penny. <laughs> I bet. Always ripping you off. You would go and get take your GameStop games back, and what would you get back? Nothing. Oh yeah, really it was never not. worth it, right? No. Um. Well. Back then it wasn't. Even now it's not worth it. But for me, I it's not like I said it's not worth it. But I feel like it's worth it just because, especially with these sport games, they come out every year. Some people they collect them just to have it all, like from 2000 all the way to 2020. But for me, with the new one coming out next year, if I have the one that's this year right now, I'll just go and trade that in and use whatever that money is towards the new game, and then 
come in my pocket, whether it's like I got five dollars for it, ten dollars, unless you're a member and you get a little more money. But I just try to reuse it like that. So, no so you're not really in it for the money, is what you're saying? Right, right, right. You don't really care. You want to obviously make some type of return, but you're not really into it because you're going to buy the next one anyways, and you're not going right. to play this one. So there's no mm-hmm. reason to keep it. So I might as well get what I can off right, of it right. just to use it. I see what you're saying. Just like a recycling. Yeah, it's like recycling. Yeah. yeah, just to go ahead and then apply it to the next one, which makes sense because if, overall, if you're not going to play the old one, then why why keep it? Yeah, exactly. Waste out and not make anything. Because then it's still going to depreciate, right? As the time goes by, it just lose more and more value. So yeah, yeah. you're going to lose. So- yeah, unless you said, like, if you sell it on eBay, you can find somebody and they will. Because I've seen, like, certain old games, say, like, NBA 2K5, but, or actually, like, that, to the whole Kobe passing, he was on, what, 2K10? Okay. Now we'll go for a. But it, so then it's a rare, more so a rare one that you're not going to find, like, at your games or a GameStop or a game store. It's just, like, yeah. someone still had a copy. Okay. It's not mm-hmm. one that you're able to still readily able to buy. So you probably right. get a couple more dollars for it than you would trading mm-hmm. it at a GameStop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would make sense. You know, there certain people, too, they'd be like, oh, I like that year of that game better than this new one come out. I was like, all right, that was, like, nine years ago. The pixels are horrible, but you love the that. Gr- exactly, right? Uh-uh. Look like Minecraft over here. That's what I don't get about Minecraft, though. I never like, got into Like, how... People are still into it and how like much of a uh, success, how many mm-hmm. billions the freaking thing is probably worth. But and it's all the bit, you know, like pixelated, all that stuff. And I, I never got it. And I guess in the whole concept, like I still don't even get what Minecraft is really about. I get you can build things because some so people mention like, oh, Sim. I think of like, oh, Sims or whatever. You can build your own little world yeah. or whatever. They make their own house and this. I've watched uh, Mr. Beast YouTube videos and stuff. And he be having challenges and people be making whatever they want and all that. Stuff. But then also I see people fighting against people and blowing up their stuff too. Yeah. And so I'm like, is this a war game also? And you build your own stuff and, uh, and uh. but did it, that come around the same time as Fortnite or was it around the same uh, time? That, Minecraft beforehand? Was way before, yeah, way oh, wait, before. beforehand. Okay. But yeah, I, I still thought, don't know what the hell it's all about. But I say, wasn't Minecraft like a mobile game or something like that? And then it became, I don't, I don't remember. Is that's how it started. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, like I said, I never got into it. it. To me, it was too much. It was confusing. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure um, about that. Let's see. Minecraft starting. Did you see about that? They're, they might come out with uh, supposedly uh, Dreamcast 2 after so many years. Talking about May 17, 2009 is when it started. I don't know if it started as... Um, let's see, created by blah, 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 and the Java programming language and released as a public alpha for personal computers in 2009. The game was officially released in November 2011 with blah, 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 okay. So I think it was still released, looks like, for a computer at that time. Oh, okay. So not just mobile. Dreamcast 2? No, I never heard nothing about that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I've seen it on Twitter. They were saying so that was Dreamcast. Sony. Is still Sony? No, that's Sega. Sega, Sega. What am I talking about? Sony. Yeah, yeah I got my S's mess, mixed up. It's a Sega, but it's still coming out as Sega, or they sell it off to like another yeah, yeah. company or something. Oh. Uh, I believe it was still a Se- uh, Sega, but I thought it was Sega pretty cool it. because, um, what was it like? Probably yeah, a month ago, the last episode. Well, other than last week's episode, we were talking about you know video games. And I, was, I think we we're talking about Dreamcast. Yeah. And Taxi. Got an update. Yeah. I think when I yeah when I got back home, I seen it on Twitter. It said Sega uh, Dreamcast too, and a lot of people were excited about that because. Automatically, you think of Sega as like what, like Sonic, or like that, like the crazy taxi. It's Nintendo, or... yeah, Nintendo stuff, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Nintendo. That's what it is. Nintendo has their own like. Nintendo's is is different and special in a way. But I'm saying yeah. Nintendo is different and special in a way. Like you got your 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 uh, PS4s, your PlayStations. I'll just say yeah, your PlayStation Microsoft. consoles. You have your Xbox consoles. They share most likely the share type of games, all that. Nintendo's also share the same type of game, but then they also have their own type where they develop their own type of characters and their mm-hmm. exclusive stuff where it's just Nintendo. And you know that as that's Nintendo. Sonic, all that, uh, Mario, you know that's Nintendo. And they've made their own little, you know. And I think, you know, a lot of people world and stuff still, characters. still purchase Nintendo items and stuff like that because it's more family oriented of games wise true you know, yeah the Mario Party. family I mean, friendly yeah, yeah okay yeah microsoft and all like xbox and all that but nintendo i feel like just stuck to that 
with the Wii. Everybody loved it because why? The family more of a family console, and then the other ones maybe more so as a personal Mm -hmm. gaming device. Yeah, I see. It's cool. I think it's all cool. Play, you know, Smarty make smart pants. Come back this week to you know everything. All right, all right. We're gonna commercial. We'll be right back though. If you guys aren't watching, go ahead to youtubecom slash Jason Yes Sir. The first twenty minutes of every episode. The rest of the episode is available, of course, audible, audible, not on audible. We're not on audible. We do not read books. Um, is available audio only, and you can get that at jasonyesser.com on iTunes. Castbox, Himalaya, it's all over the place. Just look for it. You know what I'm saying? Go to jasonyester.com and you'll see where that's at.